In G1, the cell grows physically larger and it copies organelles and makes molecular building blocks. Then it moves to the S phase, which the cell will synthesize a complete copy of DNA in the nucleus and then duplicate a microtubule organizing structure called the centrosome. And the centrosomes will help separate DNA during the M phase. Then it will move to G2 and the cells will grow more, make proteins and organelles, and begin to reorganize contents in the cell to prepare for mitosis. And then when mitosis starts, it has prophase, prometaphase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In prophase, at the beginning, the chromatin will condense and the chromatin coils will become compact and this will make visible chromosomes. Then in prometaphase, the nuclear membrane will disintegrate and the mitotic spindle will gain access to the chromosomes. And during this phase, a protein structure called the kinetic core is associated with the centromere on each sister chromatid. And then it will move to metaphase, which the nucleus will dissolve and the cell chromosomes will condense. And then they will move together in a line in the center of the cell uh, for dividing. And, uh, and then it will move to anaphase, which each pair of chromosomes will separate into two identical independent chromosomes. And the chromosomes that are separated are, will be separated by the mitotic spindle, and then telophase will begin. And this is when the nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes, and it will separate the nuclear DNA from the cytoplasm, and the chromosomes will begin to uncoil, which makes them diffuse and be less com compact. And then what's happening to the nuclear membrane during mitosis at the beginning of mitosis, the chromosomes condense and then the nucleolus will disappear and the nuclear envelope breaks down. And this will lead to release of most of the contents in the nucleus and um, the contents of the nucleus into the cytoplasm. And then at what is happening to the centrosome slash centrioles and their role throughout mitosis is there during mitosis the centrosome and centrioles will replicate and they'll migrate to opposite ends of the cell and then centrioles will help arrange the microtubules that move chromosomes during cell division to ensure that each daughter cell receives the appropriate number of chromosomes. And the distinction between mitosis and cytokinesis is that mitosis is a process which the duplicated genome is in a cell and is separated into halves that are identical in nature and its purpose for growth. And then cytokinesis is the process when in meiosis, when the cytoplasm of the cell divides into two daughter cells. And then the difference between cytokinesis and animal cells versus the plant cell is that uh, the formation of a new cell wall is in the plant cells for the daughter cells. Uh, plant cells will form a cell plate between the two daughter cells, but in animal cells, um, a cleavage furrow is formed between the two daughter cells instead. Prophase, there is the female chromosomes and the male chromosomes that are both inside of the intact nuclear envelope and then Central pairs are on the outside in the cytoplasm, and then it moves to prometaphase, where the centrioles come, and they are starting to move to the middle, and the, the nuclear envelope has dissolved. In metaphase, the chromosomes are in the center together and the, it is in the middle of the cell getting ready to split while the centriole pairs are also in the middle. Then in anaphase, this is where the cell starts to slightly 
separate with one pair being pulled toward one pole and another pair being pulled toward the other. And you have your centrioles as well. One in one side of the pole and one in the other side of the pole. And then after anaphase, it starts to go to telophase and this is where the cells start to separate, becoming individual daughter cells. And in cytokinesis, you have two identical daughter cells.